like tennis. I'm with this shit like I'm Dennis. I started this shit, I'm a finish. Niggas be hating, trying to limit my image. They want the smoke. Two to three count with the scope. And still they come long as a rock. Yeah, he is. Tell her he had a coat. I knew that was a whole point. I'm the guy, you know that we buying it. What is your Alright guys, so I'm going to another 3 champ video today. In this video, we'll be going over every race and block. Sorry right, guys. Now, I can't talk. And I'm tired of re-recording, bro. I've like, re-recorded this like a billion times now. And it's pissing me off. So, <laughs> I, I just got to go with it. I just got to go with it. I just can't talk today. So, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And, uh, yeah. So, we're going to start off with... Oh, I'm talking perfectly right now. Hey, it's a fluke. It's a fluke, bro. We're going to start off with the race. See? You see right there. We're going to start off with number six. Um, now, number six, all these races are really good, but I think there's like a clear, like, worst one so far, and that's going to be uh, Mink. You know what I'm saying? Mink is definitely the, in the last place, in my opinion. It doesn't really do anything. Like, every, all of these are doing, like, so much. All these other uh, races are doing so much. They have so much useful abilities. And all Mink really has is it, it, it is fast. Like, you see what I'm saying? It's only fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's his biggest uh, trait. It's only fast, that's his bigness, like his biggest strength. You do get 10% healing, um, right here. Increased damage is speed. I think every race of this game has increased uh, damage, so it's not really said anything. It is by far the fastest, so like if you want to travel, if traveling is like a big thing for you, I guess. Yeah, it's nothing too crazy. You do get like a tornado, it does leave a tornado that can uh, temporarily trap and stun your opponents. Uh, you can't spam it, but it's nothing too crazy. Uh, you can jump over it a lot of the times. And, yeah, that's really it. Like, you have the tornado. It's nothing, like, it's an okay ability. But, again, nothing too crazy. As you can see, cons, it's been nerfed. Ability only lasts about six seconds, so it's not even, it doesn't even last that long. And, yeah, that's really it. That's really it for Mink. There's really nothing to say about it. Like, it's just, it's clear, clearly the worst. Now, I think everything else you can contend for uh, 1 through 5. Alright, so I'm going to take back what I said. I don't think Mink is like by far the worst race, but I, I do think it's going to be like 6th or 5th. Uh, next contender is going to be Ghoul. I think this is... No, that's just human. This is Ghoul. Alright, so next we have Ghoul. Now, Ghoul is pretty... like I think Ghoul is pretty good as well. All these races are like super good. Um... But Ghoul is pretty annoying because you get a lot of heals from it. Um, uh, where's it at? Leech Life. Um, Leech Life, you get uh, heals from your opponents while you punch them. The weakness is that it's only from fighting styles. So you do have to have like a good fighting style after your moves. So. Uh, it's alright. Like it's a, it's a good ability if you can get it off, but you're not gonna always be like hitting your fighting styles. But if look, if you can, like especially with Superhuman, like if you pair this up with Superhuman, like it's gonna do a lot of damage, right? Uh, then you have the Dark Field that using the Gates Health Regen and applies blindness to an enemy all night becomes passive during all day. Like this is a good domain. Only problem is it's on the ground. Block shoots you're in the air a lot of the time, so eh, it's alright. Uh. This week, this uh, fruit does get weaker in the nighttime, so that is a we our daytime gets weaker, so that is a weakness of its fruit. Like as it's only like it's stronger at night, so when you're night, like you can maybe put it higher, but I mean that's a weakness, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, leash life heals 25% of the damage done to the said player. See, like that's a lot of damage. All right, that's a lot of healing, 25%, and this is version two, so it it's probably gets even higher. So yeah, it's a crazy, it's a crazy ability. You get a lot of heals from um, this fruit, but with something like human, uh, that's just outputting so much damage, it's kind of crazy. I think it doesn't make up for uh, make up for it. Lower cooldowns really good. Buff buffs the player at night. In version three, you get these stats boosts. As you can see, ten percent damage, ten percent speed, defense. Really good, really good, really good, really good, really good. Next, we have cyborg. Another really good race. Uh, I just don't think it's better than these top three. We'll go over Cyborg real quick. Uh, no buffs. You get a Cyborg mask. Uh, again, 10% defense against melee attacks, sword, gun attacks. So yeah, getting some good defense as um, a Cyborg. You get Energy Cord. Boost 30% defense. So yeah, you get a lot of defense. You're gonna be a, you're gonna be a real tanky guy. Okay, so AoE Lightning Effect. AoE is really good. Um, I heard this fruit is really good for teamers and stuff. Well, it is really good for teamers, as you can see, AoE Lightning. Uh, let's look at the race four stuff. 
damage dealt with change to nearby enemies, so it's gonna be good for PVE. Um, so that's that's a good ability to have. Uh, super jump, that's cool. <laughs> Uh, mobility in this game is really important, so having a super jump getting higher than your opponent. If you're higher than an opponent, you can look down at them and hit him with an attack, so yeah, that's gonna be a really good ability to have. Uh, now you don't even need, uh, now you don't even need observation to use it. Aftershock allows you to break your opponent's hockey, which is really good. Um, now it's stronger. So yeah, you just have good defense, uh, counter observation. And that's really it. And you have good mobility. Like, it's a solid through all around. Really good defense. And that's, that's enough said about that. Next next race. Next race. Now, at least top three races, like, I think you could argue, like, any of them being first, second, and third. Like, I really don't think the order matters in these first, like, these top three. I guess I think it's all opinion-based. But I think I'm going to go with number three. I think I'm going to go with Angel. I think. I think that's how I, think that's how I like it, right? All right, so let's go over Angel real quick. Allows the user to glide in the air. Like this is gonna be really good mobility. Um, it's gonna be hard to hit. It's gonna be annoying fighting it. Adds a wire around. You get like this kind of like observation hockey. Not observation. You kind of like this conquerors hockey. What King's Rule? You kind of like this conquerors hockey aura, where you know uh, the user is slowed down, energy drained. Like it's a really good effect. Uh, you see the transformation right here. You have a healing ability. With this fruit, you're able to jump higher than an opponent a lot of times, like I said earlier with the cyborg. If you're above your opponent, it's a lot easier to hit them, and it's hard for them to hit you. Uh, if you're higher than them, yeah, it's, just, it's annoying. It's annoying to fight. With Heavenly Blood, you do get a defense increase to gain. You get to heal 20%. Uh, so like, if you're jumping, you're jumping higher than them, and then you're healing as well. It's a really annoying combo. You get natural regeneration as well. So yeah, <laughs> it's a crazy, it's a crazy race, really good race. Now next we have, man, do I want to put shark or human at two? Do I want to put shark or human at two? Now for shark, you know what I'm saying, we'll, we'll go over them before, right? We'll go over them before, before, right? Here. Yeah, water shield, which regenerates by dealing damage, so that's really good. Uh, add water debuff on enemies, slowing their speed effect stacks okay so you're slowing down your enemy you're regenerating and then you have a lot of defense yeah here we go here's a defense decrease the damage taken by players by 80 percent okay yeah that's crazy 80 <laughs> percent like what so you're you have 80 percent damage reduction you're healing with the water and then you're slowing your enemy down like okay bro <laughs> okay thanks thanks for playing uh and then we have human. Let's compare both of them. You're way faster as a human, I believe. You have three flash steps. So you're going to have a lot better mobility. Allows you to become stronger as they fight through rage meter. So the human thing is kind of like glass. Okay. okay. I think human is number two. You're doing a lot of damage as human. But with shark's damage reduction, I think you're going to win that fight every time. Um, as well as the healing. I don't think it matters. Like... Human shreds damage wise, it's fast, uh, but it doesn't have that much damage reduction. It just deals a lot of damage. You're dealing a lot of damage, but you're, you're gonna get hit as well. So it's like a glass cannon type of thing, glass cannon type of thing. And I, I, I think that it is a weakness. Like, I think Shark is gonna beat it just because of the damage reduction. Like, 80%, like, what, <laughs> like what, bro? What? That's way too much. That's way too much. And then you're slowing human down. I think, yeah, I think Shark is going to be number one. If you guys disagree, uh, tell me what you guys would put in the description below. Um, and yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. See you guys.